Hello. Hello. You can't see me, can you? Look closer. Look harder. Where am I? You can't find the barber, can you? Close your eyes. Open. Well, you did a poor job at that, didn't you? Well, what's the point of camouflage if you don't know where you should be looking? Well, take a lesson for consumer next time. Yes, this is the barbershop. What happened to my other establishment? Well, due to unforeseen 1940s circumstances that I've had to relocate my barbershop to out here, somewhere a little bit more secure. Plus, it ensures persons such as yourself who look somewhat messy there, hair overgrown, stubble everywhere. That is not the look that we want for in, in we're looking for in the 1940s now, is it? No. And you know what look we go for in the 1940s? It's a short back and sides. Short back and sides. Get that into your head. Short back and sides. There's no other haircut as good as a short back and sides. If someone asks what kind of haircut you wish to have, it's a short back and sides. If someone says, oh, what sort of haircut is that? It's a short back and sides. Okay? Short back and sides. Good. So, what haircut would you like today? A little bit long on the top. Are you having a laugh at the moment? A short back and sides. Yes, you are. Very good. I beg your pardon. I thought we've discussed this already. Why haven't I got a short back and sides? Well, can you not read my insignia here? Yeah, do you see? Do you see these pips here? Yeah. Yeah, see those? That means that I am allocated whatever facial design I prefer. Okay, for persons like yourself who are nowhere near this sort of status, must have a short back and side. Good. Well, you've been directed to my little barber shop here. Okay, I know it's a little bit uh, open planned here at the moment, but we try to make it a little bit cozy here as possible. As we know, in 1940s, things can be a little bit trying. Okay, so we try to make this a relaxing barber shop. Okay, so. What we do here, we don't tell anybody about the location here because you know, careless talk and all that. So, no one else followed you here. Don't worry, I've already done a reconnaissance on you. So, let me just lighten up this place here for you and we can get with your lovely short back and sides. I've got a gramophone. Well, yes, of course, I, I bought a gramophone out here. How did I receive, how did it receive power? That's not real business. Right, so please do feel free to relax a little bit more. Okay, should we have a little inspection of you first? Okay, see what we're going to be working with. Hmm. All right. Way overgrown. Way overgrown there. Right, so we're going to take all of that off. Uh, you would like a moustache. Uh, we'll see about that, okay. We'll take all of that off, clean shaven all around. There we go. On the top here. Hmm. Yeah, that's coming down. That's coming down, I think, quite short there. Quite short there, right, yeah. And I think overall, a short back at side is very much in order with you. It just generally improves your whole well-being, okay? Does that make perfect sense to you? Good. Well, at least we're getting through some point. Uh, might I ask as well, this sort of civilian attire which you've sported here for your pop shop visit today, did you not know you were visiting an officer today? Did you not think it would be correct to dress in the appropriate attire for a bar shop? Well, that means full dress, okay? Not this lousy arrangement of 
clues that I see before me. Right, no, 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 no need to reply. We shall start your hair cutting process now. So, I'm going to turn off that microphone now. that is no longer needed as we'll listen to the ambience we have here. So I know that uh, in the bark shop things are all nice and equipped in there but I try to make this barbershop here to be fully equipped just like our other ones to make sure that get the full complete experience luckily that I managed to acquire all of my equipment. Okay, let's get that open and let's fit you a nice new blade in here. Right. That's pretty though. Okay, so what we're gonna do the first thing, we're gonna really take down some of that growth that you have accumulated there. So we'll take off the long stuff first, okay. Even just a small change like that makes a drastic difference for a person such as yourself. And I believe you're familiar with these. Okay, these are the clippers which we use to get rid of all of that stubble and rough stuff there for you. And then we will get a new nicely clean shaven. Now before we do that, I might like to show, I've got some very special shaving cream here, which I think will be perfect for a shave such as this. This is sort of beyond standard issue, okay, reserved for persons who come to my barbershop, right, you keep nice and still there, don't think about moving at all, Right, if you could just lift your head up there for me and we'll go down under your chin there.
going to on your lip there. It's got to go. And some moustaches are a little bit frowned upon this, this day and age in the 1940s. So we'll get rid of that there for you, okay? Just get rid of all that. Off it goes. There we go. And we make sure that's extra clean shaven there. thus far that you look like such a scruff bag and even just taking off that little bit of scruff it looks far better does it not the answer is yes sir of course so what we have is some very special shaving cream this is the stuff which will give a smooth shave on your face and probably be one of the best shaves that you've ever had. What's very particular about this shaving cream is that the tobacco leaf has a true calming scent. Okay, this is the sort of stuff that uh, that you will get in a luxurious bar shop. Like in the past, they didn't have these sort of luxury items, but I managed to acquire a few here incorporated in my bar shop. Yeah. Not that you deserve it, of course. Okay. So what I'd like to do with this, normally you just take it straight from the bowl, but I wouldn't wish to waste that much on you. So I'm just going to take a, a generous amount there. Okay. About that much there. And we're going to apply it in the shaving bowl. Make up a lot there. scent on that is absolutely superb okay so are you ready to apply it yes well this is gonna glide smoothly all over your face okay
knob. Uh, okay. Right. I'm just gonna put it on this side. you look ridiculous but this is going to make sure that you're exceptionally clean shaven okay this is going to do the ticket there for you all right let's get a nice rag there ready yes. all right okay so you keep nice and still and we'll make you all nice and fully clean shaven there and you will look far better than of course you currently did when you came to see me right and store right that's good you thought you had planes above don't worry about those So I can do on your chin, on your neck, there we go. Alright, that's it. Now it's all coming together. Okay, this is what you need in society at the moment. Okay, you must be clean shaven and of course short back and sides. Why? Well why else? Okay. It's everybody has short back and sides. Okay. You might have a, a sport of moustache, but I would only reserve those for officers. Okay, yeah, you're not one of those things, so I'm afraid it just wouldn't suit you. Well, <laughs> it's somewhat dependent on uh, uh, your social status, okay? Yeah, so let's just say I can grow a moustache if I wish, and sport a moustache. Or I can go even further and grow a beard, okay? That's not frowned upon for a person such as myself. Someone like you, on the other hand, okay? That's something that I would not recommend, unless you'd want some officer with sort of a beard coming down, following you and shouting you or something like that in the high street or whatever. Okay, regardless if you're in your civilian clothing or, or not. Okay. 
just think of this as me trying to help you out, okay? Just trying to help a, a fellow person in need of a shave and some downtime, okay? And that's what this 1940s bug shop is, is all about, is to give you a little bit of that downtime. Okay, lots of things going on, and we need just relax, so that's why uh, this bob shop was created and it has nothing to do with uh, the current status of my other bob shop okay where there was actually a roof and things um, but uh, i'm sure it will make a return at some point Resources here, you see. Okay. And we're just going to hold this here. There we go. And we're going to keep it pressed against your cheeks as things might be feeling a little bit. A little bit spicy there at the moment would be the word to use, but hopefully it won't do any longer. And this is very good for your skin. Of course, um, what else would be good for it is probably uh, some tobacco itself. But uh, but I think we'll have to make do. which we have to sort out, which is your hair. Couldn't I offer you a little bit of spice here for gentleman to gentleman? I mean, I say gentleman to gentleman, I say gentleman to the person. Yeah, I cannot uh, assume that you are indeed a gentleman or worth that sort of status there. Yeah. Well, this is Bay Rum, okay? It's from our transatlantic friends, okay? And I've managed to get a hold of this for my barbershop. Okay, so would you like a little bit? Think of it as a little tonic for your beard, and a bit of aftershave, as you were. So you'd like a little bit? Of course you would. Okay, let's hope this spices a lot on your cheeks there for you. Okay, let's get that over. It's a very natural smell there. Okay. Well, 
that's that sorted there for you. Now to deal with that short back and sides there for you. Okay, we bought a comb here. Okay, so we're just gonna comb that complete mess there for you. Same treatment, just on top there. mess here so it's very important to know a uh, god is uh, you're not properly properly dressed if you haven't got a proper appropriate haircut okay so this is why a short back and sides is in order right this gets as short there as possible there for you so you can keep it nice and still Business has been uh, somewhat slow since we've uh, had to relocate premises a little bit. However, um, you know, rations are, are still pretty good around here. Well, for the likes of me, of course. Well, you know, are you a personal friend of Lawfark? Well, no, I thought not. So, rations are probably, you know, ration for you. Yes, indeed. an officer a barber why wouldn't an officer be a barber it's a very prestigious thing to do you know cutting someone else's hair trying to make sure everyone looks stylish for the times <laughs> if there wasn't the likes of me here then you would all look like scruff bags which are not there for meaning is probably one of the most important things ever that's why I can charge an absolute fortune for it indeed Of 
course, if we were somewhere else, I would of course tell you to be quite private and speak when you're spoken to. But we're not. You're in my barber shop, so uh, we will save that if you ask me three questions outside the barber shop. going to finish up that wonderful thing we caused all back inside so we're going to slowly just uh, size if you can't make it as short as possible here so sideburns we don't want any of those at all you're not victorian now are you right so what we've got is just a nice very special razor here this is just going to get rid of those little excess bits there okay so you'll just keep perfectly still there for me if you can quite manage it that would be great Make sure that's all appropriate there for you. Okay, down the side, we'll fully brush there and down there. Okay, there we go. Right there. Just on these areas here. Yeah. Okay. So, we can get back to normality now, and might I say that uh, payment, you can either drop it off to me, or you can give it to me on parade later. Well, we'll say it later then. And make sure that you're dressed up nice and smart, properly in an appropriate attire, if you wouldn't mind. Perfect. Now let us have a little inspection here, yeah, all nice and clean shaven there, and mist anywhere underneath here on your chin, lift up, lift up for me, there we go, that's all nice and smooth, there. top of your head, oh look how short that is, that is very short, and very short sides there around the back, they're incredibly short, okay, and on the top there, short as well, short, 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 back and sides all around, 
there we go well i hope you've enjoyed your little barbershop experience okay what an absolute luxury for you that you get to have your hair cut done by me okay well the time is late the year is 1940 and we must make sure we look presentable all the time okay that is of the utmost importance that all the time we look absolutely presentable Oh, sorry about that. Did I clip you there? No, oh dear. Okay. Well, exercise to do in parade will be about camouflage, and you failed absolutely miserably. However, I succeeded a testament to my skills, and not yours. So, make sure that you practice that. Okay? Right. You're dismissed. I mean, I can enjoy yourself, and I'll see you later. Take care of yourself. Cheerio.